and I heard the siren and stuff, but uh, at 10 something at night, I'd be scared to come out my house because I don't know what's going on right here. And uh, I don't trust people, and I know they do some dirty stuff right here. Like I said, that wasn't the first time, that was the second time. And this time, and whoever did, they succeeded. But I pray the Lord that the police do work hard to find out and bring his family some justice. What was Mr. Patel like? He was cool. He talked a little mess around right him, but by all of knowing, we could deal with him, you know. He talked, he liked to have fun, he laughed. Some things make you mad, and that's certain things he said, but when you put him in check, he laughed and all, he apologized to him, he cool, you know. He was all right with me. I just had to get in by calling me Mark, cause you know. <laughs> I ain't old enough to be his mama. And then I said, my name Brunner, so he started calling me Brunner like he spoke to. I ain't got no problem with nobody. I just hope they find out who killed him. And this morning I woke up and heard it on the 6 o'clock news and it hurt me so bad because I knew then it was him because he worked there at the store every night and he'd be the one. When I come to New Way in the morning, he, he get out, he come over here and get his coffee. He go over there to the, uh, over to the uh, detail shop, kick it with them, he'll kick it with us, he'll stand out here and kick it with us before he get ready to go home. He'll go over to the store across the street, I stay across the street for Hanukkah. He'll go there and kick it with printing, we laugh and talk. Like I said, he didn't deserve that, and I just hope they find out who killed him. May God bless his family.